as still here just with a quick little tip so if you want your Mac to read you stuff well you can third place go to system preferences click on it go to accessibility then you're gonna go on over to spoken content and you want to see the selection so normally when you open up spoken content it is on a voice we know all know and most of us hate unless there's some retro people out here who actually like this foul voice. Most people recognize me by my voice. Not a good thing, buddy. All right. Uh, so that is a lot. That is the reason why a lot of people have forgotten about the spoken content option because of this voice. And literally, we only had uh, Alex, Fred, Nikki, Samantha, um, and Victoria, and those are all pretty bad robot voices. But now we have uh, Siri voice one and Siri voice two. So if you want, you can click on uh, one of these if you want. And uh, let's go ahead and click on this one and I'll just play it for you. Hello, I'm Siri. So that is a very, um, that is a very great voice as, as you can probably tell now. Um, a lot better than the mechanical robot voice we had. So I'm gonna do that. And then you're gonna, the next step is you're gonna wanna make sure it's, uh, speak selection is turned on. So just click on that and then go to options and you can set all your stuff here. Option Q, um, this is my, this is what I'd have it set to. You just click on it and hold option and Q and then that's what you get. So then when you hover over, when you um, select text like that, um, you, it, you then hit option Q and it will read it to you. And then, so the uh, words and sentences, this is what it will highlight when it's reading over to the uh, over the words and stuff. So I normally have this set to sentences, but for purposes of like demonstration and all that, I'll have it set to this. The next thing you want to do is uh, change the colors of the words and the sentences um, that are going to be highlighted and stuff. So I have these set to two basic colors. And then you can choose to underline the text or um, have it background or like highlighted completely. And then you also want to have the controller set to always or automatic. So yeah, then hit OK. Uh, you can close out of this window if you want. Double click on the thing that you want to read or open it up and then you are all set. So basically what you want to do is hover over the text. Oops. Uh, so you want to hover over the text you want to read. So like this. And you hold the buttons that you put in there. And you, well, As you just learned, a balanced chemical equation provides a great deal of quantitative information. It relates particles. Particles. Add a Atoms, molecules, formula units, mol. So that's basically what it sounds like. Pretty cool stuff, eh? Yeah. Um, so that's that's pretty much what you gotta work with. It's great, honestly. Um, I'm gonna use it all the time. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. And uh, well, have a great day.